Now the upper body. Now we've talked a little bit about the lower body, the upper body, some very basic concepts. Number one, how you grip the bat really doesn't matter because the bat, the only, only thing the grip does is it, it holds this bat. The, the hands allow you to release the barrel. That's all they do, okay? So whether you line up your door knocking knuckles, which was a mistake that I made many, many years ago, or you split the difference, or you're, you know, the thing we want to do is stay away from extremes. We know that that looks uncomfortable and we know this is probably uncomfortable. So somewhere in between there, I like the elbows down, but there's some hitters that like the elbow up. Again, the same thing we talked about in the start, it really doesn't matter how you start, okay? But there are a couple of things that are gonna occur. How I start in my stance, I can do whatever I want with the bat. But once I land at toe touch, now I've gotta be in a throwing position. And to be in a throwing position, a couple of things I think have to happen. Number one, this bottom hand has to be inside this elbow to allow us to stay inside the ball. And we'll talk about how do we develop that feeling. The second thing is that the bat should be tilted toward the head and not away from the head. If you looked at me right now, you would see that this looks weak and this looks a little stronger. Okay, so we want the bat tilted toward our head but not wrapped around our head because what happens there? We become inefficient, okay? So, bat tilted toward your head, all right? Back elbows are down or wherever you feel comfortable to throw, but there's gotta be spacing between the back elbow and the hip. And this is the important thing. If I'm gonna throw a ball, okay? If I'm gonna throw a ball in that net, I can throw a ball pretty hard if I have spacing. If I don't, it's gonna look like this. Not very strong there. So that's why basically all we're talking about, and if you've ever gone out on the river or on a lake and skipped a rock, and to skip a rock, you've got to throw it from down here. This is really what hitting feels like, is when you do it properly, you're going to feel this, okay? You're going to feel yourself get connected here and you're going to be able to release, but you have to have and create space between the back elbow and the hip, okay? So back elbow and the hip, we have spacing, bottom hand, you know, you just don't want to get it locked out. A lot of hitters get stronger back here than others, but we want the bat to stay somewhere inside the shoulder. We get away from the shoulder, we're going to start getting long here, and when we get long here, the first thing that happens is our hands go out. And that's the worst thing you want to do as a hitter because what happens? We get around the ball and we start hitting through a short zone, okay? So we need to be able to keep our hands in a position where this bottom hand can work like throwing a frisbee. So the thing that happens is my elbow leads and then my hands attack inside the softball. My top hand is nothing more than it's there to release the barrel. So I always say the top hand's like hammering a nail, the bottom hand's like throwing a frisbee. I use a lot of different things to teach those different moves, rubber mallet, very good um, device to work on teaching a kid to use the bottom hand because they have to learn how to release underneath. They can't release like this and hit this ball.